Hi, this is Natalie from Minded Arrow from the Netherlands, and I'm here with a it's sort of pre-April challenge video. Um, well, not exactly one challenge in April, but it's the kickoff for April next month. We are going to do some challenges in the Facebook groups. Well, we're going to do a lot of challenges, maybe. And usually I have one kit, but I don't have one kit. I have several kits several themed kits but i'm going to explain about april challenges in the actual first kickoff video of the challenges but this is just a pre-kickoff because it's easter um themed and it's almost easter so i thought well i need to do that today um because i totally forgot it was easter <laughs> to be honest i went shopping with hobby uh last week and we saw the signs about when the shops were closed during Easter and then it hit me. Uh, completely forgot, not aware it was Easter already. I thought it was within two weeks or something. Uh, but like the thumbnail says on my video, I also have an update on my 5k giveaway. And I had 11, 11, 11 winners drawings um, because... Well, I'm going to explain real quick. If you send out digitals for a prize, you have to add a, a link to your Google Drive or whatever device or um, platform you use to store your kits. And if you have five winners, that means you have to do that thing with five different people. So I assumed the donated kits were all prizes for one person. But I have been checking because somebody posted in the Facebook group, well, why don't you split up all the prizes? And yeah, that was my thought exactly. But I didn't ask because I was so happy to receive donated kits that I didn't want to ask, oh, well, can you also split them and have like five single page, uh, single prizes? But eventually I did and all of them said yes. So what does that mean? If you enter in the hashtag LDA5K giveaway, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm not going to spin the wheel 11 times, uh, 11 times, <laughs> but I'm going to spin it 25 times. Um, I do have like a sort of um, bundle from line.arrow that has three digitals, two package of three digitals, so two prizes with three digitals and there's a paper package that I showed in a previous video video and there's the shabby journal that is still um like it was but the other prices are all um uh, well turned into single prizes that means I can spin the wheel 25 times so if you haven't entered yet um and thank you by the way for all those lovely comments you are sending me and one thing I read a lot is that apparently I'm explaining <laughs> and I have to laugh because I think the opposite about myself, but apparently I do explain very well. I was not aware I was doing that because I feel like I'm all over the place, have no plan because I usually craft on the fly. Um, so I'm very glad to read that apparently I'm explaining very well. So yeah, thank you all so much for those, um, well, they are very sweet comments, uh, very encouraging and supporting. And yeah, and I really wanted to thank every single person with a special comment, but I have been over 300 comments because there was another video with a lot of comments and I spent three hours <laughs> commenting on those videos. So yeah, some of them are just... Thank you very much with a little heart. That doesn't mean I don't like the comment, but I can't type everything I want to type. But I do appreciate um, that you take the time to really make a long comment about my videos and what you like. Um, and it gives me uh, a better insight of what I'm doing because... Yeah, like I said, I thought I was rambling and going all over the place and thinking, well, maybe that's not a good thing to do on my channel. But yeah, we have um, 25 prizes. I'm so excited. Well, you can tell because I'm 
But yeah, I'm really happy. So thanks again to all the ladies that are donating for doing this. Um, like I said, it is almost Easter. And I made freebies. Uh, I made um, lovely vintage Easter bunnies. They are freebies. This is the promo sheet. Well, you can also use these. Because if you cut these, you have images to use too. So promo sheets, always worth the while to print. Uh, it comes with a collage sheet. Then we have little bunny labels. I really like these. Then I have... Yeah, you can turn these into little cards. So you make these... Um, you attach... Them. Okay, let me explain again. You cut these and then you fold them and glue them together. So this is the front, this is the back. But you can also create little notebooks. Maybe we're going to do that. I have put in tags. I think I have a page missing. Yeah, I do. Ooh, what did I do? I need to print that real quick. One moment. I really forgot to print this one. Um, but I also have these because... Well, if you see, I didn't even put it on my promo sheet. I totally forgot about this one, but I really like this one. Um, you can turn these into a front piece and a back piece, of course, or just something to embellish. You can also use the, these blank in uh, other projects. And the same goes for these. If you cut out these pieces, you have blank options to use in non-bunny or... Um, Easter related journals um, Yeah, this is really Easter, but you can cut up pieces to use in other projects. You can even cut this up uh, Yeah, this is really Easter, but I do like the bunnies and these are usable in every journal you have just embellish on it or use them as backings and make something at the front um, But yeah, I have five pages. It's a small kit uh, and I thought it would be fun because the um, Buzz into Spring challenge is over. Um, yesterday was the final day you could enter. And um, I, I wanted to say we are gathering the names. Well, the other groups are gathering the names. But in Line.Arrow, there's no we gathering the names. Because that's only one woman that is doing that. And that is Bea. Bea de Gries, she's an admin in Line.Arrow and also in the design team member. Uh, she's a design team member and she has been um, checking every day in the Facebook group and writing down all your entries. So if you are in a Facebook group <laughs> and you think about her when you post something for a new challenge, maybe you want to thank her over there because she has been working really hard getting all the names she i think she's almost done uh she does enjoy it because i ask multiple times well i can do it too um but she really likes it because she likes seeing all the projects you made enjoying every make and also writing down the names but yeah i think we should really thank her because um it's awesome she's doing that so um what are we going to do today well I'm just going to grab something that I created for the Jigsaw collaboration. Um, that is a collaboration that is going uh, on this month still. It started the 15th and it's going on till next month, the 15th. And my project was make a, um, how do you call it? seed bag tuck-ins and i wasn't sure how to interpret i'm not sure i'm saying it right but i didn't know how to make that prompt because i didn't quite understand but i thought i did so i just made this i have a video on how i made it i think this was my this was my prototype was it i'm not sure anymore mm. I really don't know which one I made on camera. I think I made this one on camera. But I have, uh, this one was my prototype. And there's a video on how I created this. Quickly going to show you. Um, 
there's a tag in here we are not going to create that but what i wanted to show you because my um theme was grungy and rustic and the pages were very floral so i was thinking how am i going to make them rustic and i just uh grabbed one of my ink pads and just well i did it on this one and i just started to press them onto the papers and they really add texture without adding bulk and it did make a, a more grungy look I'm not sure if you can see but these are all uh, like little stems on here so keeping that in mind you can see the video and I have everything over there how I created it but keeping the stems in mind I did create these and okay where is the stamp i made them with these with this stamp so where is the front side i think this is the front side and i just stamped this on tracing paper um i'm just going to show you on no i don't want a white sheet but it's so much fun using these as as sort of labels um, but you can also use them as a Easter egg, of course. And I did this. I'm just going to stamp a few. Uh, some do make really good. Um, because uh, you can also add something. Well, this is actually an Easter egg too. But you can use that in many projects. It doesn't have to be this project that I'm creating today. I have this one. This is a great one. I don't think this one worked very well no not at all but if you have like ink pads that are hmm, not working very well like this one as you can see it does add a little texture oh it doesn't pick up on camera but it does add a little texture to your project so um i have been stamping away this afternoon um and creating the freebies and I have, let me grab, because I really tried out different shapes. I have these. These are pink ones. These are um, these and these. I'm not sure which one. I think this one is working better. Yeah, this one is not, well, it is, but not, hmm. You can still work with it. I have these. Uh, as you can see, I've been trying to play with them a little, but I couldn't. And these are perfect. Um, and I also have these. So I tried different um, stems. And these are the smaller pieces. Not so much. These can work, especially when you stamp like a, uh, well, I can show you real quick, because I have, where do I have the, um, I always lose my, oh, over here, this piece. I don't know why, but I do. Uh, but if you have like a number stamp, I don't know why, but I'm really excited about this. I need to get this out of the way, otherwise it doesn't... Sh oh, okay, it's dropping. Okay, take this one. It's a little bit too large. Need another stamp. But you can create little stamps. Because you have the shape or labels actually it's called labels but you can stamp your labels without having a label stamp I think that is awesome look isn't that cute I really like it great I misstamped over that one not going to use that one But yeah, you can also add butterflies or whatever stamp you have as long as it fits in the square that you stamped with your 
inking pad, you can create pretty awesome projects with this. I'm not cutting them very straight, don't mind. But this could be uh, on a journal page or on a tag. You can even do a little sewing, uh, edging, inking, um, add a little book page behind, a little piece of fabric, a little piece of lace. And just in a few minutes, you have created your own label. Um, these are a very dark, I don't know, I think it was sort of green. It does, it, did, it does not show up very well, so I don't use those. But these are awesome. Well, I think they are. I'm not very good at cutting it straight. You can even cut these. But yeah, these are cute. And you can also do it with like more romantic stems. It doesn't have to be like grungy uh, words or... Um, you can also use, uh, if you have a, an oval shaped ink pad like I have, you can use floral stamps. You can use everything you want. You can edge. And this is just a quick example. Uh, I'm going to do another video where I'm using um, pieces of the Buzz into Bee kit because I do need to Buzz into Bee, Buzz into Spring, Buzz into Spring kit because I do need to finish that journal. It's not done yet. But let me grab the journal real quick. So oh, this is a very um, overall video. I'm going to different projects because I really want to show you this. But, okay, what is the right side? Maybe I want this one. You can, I don't want it over there. Uh, maybe over here, but mm, I think it's kind of boring. So I'm going to sew a little bit around those labels. So I did some sewing. I do want to make it a little bit smaller. And it's just a simple embellishment, but yeah, you can layer it, of course, on book pages and everything. So you can make it as interesting as, well, as much as you want. But I thought this was pretty cute. And now you're probably thinking, okay, but what has this, what does it have to do with your uh, Easter freebies? Because this is another journal, another project, and it's more grungy. But yeah, this is a way you can create labels. And um, we are going to use this with our uh, freebies and as i said i have these i have these i have these and i have been cutting some images not all um and I also have some pre-printed, 
pre, not pre-printed, pre-stamped images. I'm going to use uh, the blue one first, just on, uh, this is sort of a vanilla colored paper, it's nothing special. This is not going to work, of course. Why? I need to do it like this. Oh, I need to rip this piece too. And if you don't have like a chair ruler, you can also use a, a regular ruler because that will definitely give some texture to your ripping too. Not the same as this one, but it's not as clean as a cut with a pair of scissors. So let's use some book pages. I'm just going to glue this one onto here. Maybe a little bit lower so there is some script or maybe like so. Yeah. So it's surrounded with script. I also have this one. I'm not going to tear those corners or sides. I'm just going to ink. Glue it on and then I also have a pink one and the ink sorry for the drop of the glue I read a comment that the glass mouth makes a lot of noise uh, yeah it does I wasn't aware of that well of course I was aware but I never thought about how it would sound on a video but yeah, I, I I did have the regular craft mods before, but I kept on buying new ones over and over and over again because they are dirty within one video. And it looks awful on video, like having a gross mouth. <laughs> and this is more clean, so I thought, yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm still having to use this mat because... I can't afford to buy a craft mat every month, um, a clean one. Oh yeah, it is, it is what it is. But I'm really sorry. Um, so I'm trying to make less noise as far as that is even possible. I hope it is possible. So now we have these layered, and of course we need to do some more inking. More inking. And, oh, I forgot to rip this one. So, we have three now. Um, I did cut out a few of the images. I have this one. I think I want this one on the blue. This one on this one. Or should I? No. This one on this one. I think I want this one like so. Maybe I want this one like so. Something, maybe something like this. Oh, it's upside down. 
um, maybe over here. <laughs> Put it on the ring light. <laughs> um, I'm going to ink around this one. Well, I'm going to ink, ink around all the images. Uh, these are, uh, to be honest, slightly bigger than the ones they are um, on the freebies now. Because I printed them to test. And then I thought, ooh, these are very big. <clears throat> but I thought, well, I can use them in a video. Uh, I think that is so great. I can also do this one over here, maybe. No, I want it over here. Um, but this is with, well, actually two layers now and, and an image. But you can also add a little bit more to the back. Let me grab another page. I have a piece of um, craft paper. I'm going to glue this on. No, I want it like so. So you now you have a third layer. I'm not glue gluing them close together because I want a little edge around um, the images. So if you have a regular ruler, this one is very dirty, um, but you you should have something like this. So it does, not sure if it shows, but it does give you an edge. I'm going to leave the top edge straight because it's too narrow for me to rip. So you can make them as big as you want. You can also make smaller ones, of course. It doesn't have to be this big, but I like it. Um, I had this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here. First, I'm going to do some sewing. Um, well, I can glue the images down already. Yeah, let's do that first. I think I had it. I'm not sure how I had it. Like so, something like this. And I'm using the freebies, but you can also use other stuff you have in your stash, of course. I'm going to use this one a little bit like so. Um, but this I don't like, it's too straight, so I'm going to do something about the straight uh, sides because it's too straight for me. Probably not the same as I had it laid out before, uh, but I don't mind. So I'm now grabbing my, where is it? Over here, That's this one. And I'm just going to cut like little To do the same on this side. And the same on this side. So now it's a little bit more etched. Of course, I need to ink that too. So 
I'm quickly going to do some sewing. Um, but I'm also thinking about adding a stem. And I have this huge word stem. Um, and it's so difficult for me to turn those uh, wheels to actually stem. So I pre-set them. Otherwise, it would take ages for me on video to set those um, oh, the right way. And I have a bit of fabric over here. And it's saying Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny with some ink stains. Okay, I don't want this. Okay, maybe only just Easter from this one because it's not stamped very well. And again, this is an old pillowcase that is totally worn, so it's very thin. And I really like the fabric. Of course, I washed it before I started using it in my journal. Um, but it's a bed sheet thing. So if you have like worn out bed sheets, don't throw them away. Don't turn them into cleaning cloths to polish the car or something. Use them in your journal. They are great to use. A lot of threads going on over here. So, okay, I have a few words. This is not really straight. Okay, this needs to be smaller, of course. This too. So, now I'm going to sew, and then you will see me back. I did sew around the little labels. Are they still labels? Because they are turning into little journal cards now. I do have to cut all those little threads. I do. You can also leave them, but it's um, it's not. <laughs> I'm not very good at leaving the threads on. It's not my thing. I like it when I see it, but when I have it in my hands, I just want to cut off everything. I'm not sure if you can hear, but my stomach is talking to me. Saying it needs food. <laughs> I have a thread 
it over here too. Yeah. So now we have these. And of course, I can add some eyelids and some things. You can even back these. Um, but if you glue them on a page, yeah, we'll know we'll, we'll notice you have this at the back side. So no worries about that. Um, I could also just... Where are the... Where are they? These. Oh, they are a little bit too big. Well, it could work. But you can also use, if you like, make smaller ones, put them on the tags, of course. Let's just put in a eyelid. Well, just not one, of course. A few. Okay, where's the thingy? Over here. So I'm just popping in a few eyelets. So now we have little bunny cards. Let me put them on a white sheet so you can see a little better. This does need a little bit more inking. Oh, I also want to, sorry, not done yet. Of course not. <laughs> I almost forgot, but I want to add these. Don't want to cover the ears. It's slightly out of the middle, but that's okay with me. Oh, this one, I want to add just a little. bit of lace. Something like 
like this. It does need to be glued down a little bit better. And I want this for the other one. But I think I need my fabric to glue that down. This is some sort of jute. It's really sturdy. Maybe I should add it this before I started sewing. So if you do that, if you want to add like a sturdy piece or laces, you could do that before you start sewing. Maybe that's better. You know what? I am going to sew a little bit over this. So we have these now. Um, and I also... I want to show you real quick that you can do this on fabric too. Not sure if it will fit. If you have this and rip it, you can create something fun on here too. Um, Where's the acrylic thingy again? I always lose that thing. I don't know why. It's always somewhere where I can't find it. Um, this is rather large. I'm going to use this one. But you can create um, fun little elements. Like these. But I also um, did a little prepar preparation. I stamped on a piece of fabric like the same way I did over here, added one of the images, and I put it on a tag. So, yeah, this is what we got today. And I am really happy about the result. I think I will make another video creating little booklets because I really want to do that. But I first wanted to show you how to create your own uh, stamp thingies. Okay, so this is what we got today. Uh, the freebies will be posted in the Facebook group and also on my Ko-Fi page. Uh, while you're over there, maybe you want to support my channel, YouTube channel, Facebook group or Ko-Fi page by buying me a coffee. Uh, you don't have to, but if you can, uh, yeah, well, I would really appreciate it. But you can download these for free. And you just fill in zero and you can download those um, images. And make sure you also, if you use them, show in the Facebook group. You can tag me on your um, media platforms. I will try to, to search when I'm linked and react, respond. Uh, I'm a little bit behind, but yeah, you can tag me so I can see. And if you just jumped in and just see this uh, channel for the first time, if you like it, maybe you want to be a subscriber, hit the bell, uh, like the video, maybe you want to leave a comment and make sure you hit the bell and put all the notifications on so you will see new uploads. Um, yeah, if you didn't respond on my giveaway video, you can still do. Uh, you have until tomorrow. Uh, like I said, instead of 11 drawings, I will have 25. Uh, what else did I forget? Yeah, I think I also need to say that I'm happy with the new subscribers on this channel. I forgot to do that at the beginning. But I'm very happy you are here. And yeah, I hope we can have a lot of fun together. And yeah, happy Easter to everyone. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay creative, and I hope to see you the next time. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.